Have you ever been to a construction site or seen from afar builders dropping foam into concrete slab and you thought, they can't be serious? That exactly is polystyrene slab. And why should you care? Because it can either save you millions or ruin your reputation. Stick with me for a few minutes. You will learn what polystyrene slabs are, why developers love them, the hidden costs that trip people up, and one Lagos project where they worked brilliantly. I've built across Lagos and watched a single material choice change the entire profit margin. Polystyrene slabs are a real lever if you use them right. They are not just hype. A polystyrene slab is a reinforced concrete floor system. Styrofoam blocks sit between concrete ribs, which is popularly called a rib slab. The foam doesn't carry your house. The concrete does. The foam just fills up the useless and unnecessary space, making the slab lighter and reducing the stress of the entire structure. Developers love them because they are lighter, which means your foundations and beams don't need to be overbuilt. They save concrete and on big projects, that's tens of millions saved. Bigger projects, even billions if possible. But the project has to be very big. They insulate, which means heat and airborne sound doesn't travel easily. Rooms stay cooler and you hear less of your generator doing <laughs> A few years back, a friend of mine built a mid-rise in Lekki Phase 1. He brought in a structural engineer from day one. They had a proper design, approved by the state government. They used quality rebars, waterproofed every bathroom, and sealed the fire risk with full POP ceilings. What was the result? Faster construction, lower foundation costs, and a building that has been dry, quiet, and profitable ever since. Tenants loved the cooler interiors, and the investors saved about 13% on the overall structural costs, without a single leak or complaint. Beautiful. Keep the basics and polystyrene will humble you. You must waterproof because the thin concrete tops leak if you don't save them. You must fireproof because foam and fire don't mix. You have to cover it properly. Number three, noise. It softens airborne noise, yes, but can worsen footsteps and drag furniture if the slab is too thin. Number four, skilled labor. This one is not a my guy sells savvy job. Mm -mm. Bad spacing or weak concrete can lead to cracks or even worse. These hidden costs, which are fireproofing, waterproofing, and skilled labor can kill your budget if you don't plan properly. Whether you are a developer, a landlord, or a first-time builder, polystyrene slabs affect your bottom line and your building's reputation. Ignore them and you might overspend. Use them recklessly and you could face leaks, noise complaints, or even worse. But when used correctly, they are one of Nigeria's smartest ways of construction today. Polystyrene slabs are not magic and they are not evil. They are a powerful tool. Respect the tool, Budget for fireproofing, waterproofing, skilled labor, and an experienced structure engineer. And you've already won. Have you seen a polystyrene slab done beautifully or disastrously? Share your story in the comments. It just might save someone's projects. For more straight talk on Nigerian construction, beyond the marketing spin, subscribe. I've been Fola Jomi. See you on the next one.